Beneath the Himalayas, a discovery is reshaping what scientists thought they knew about the Indian tectonic plate and raising new concerns for 1.4 billion people who live above it. For decades, the Indian tectonic plate was viewed as a single stable slab, pushing into Eurasia and driving the uplift of the world's highest mountain range. But a series of recent seismic studies, including a major investigation, reveals a very different picture. The Indian plate is not intact. It is developing deep fractures, deforming internally, and, in some regions, splitting vertically as its lower layers peel away and sink into the mantle. Signals of this process are now appearing across the region. Distorted seismic waves, unusual gas emissions, and shifting patterns of crustal stress. Together, they indicate that the plate is undergoing a structural change far more complex than simple collision. And this change carries colossal consequences. A deforming plate can transfer stress unpredictably increasing the likelihood of powerful earthquakes, both along the Himalayan arc and deep within the subcontinent, and in some cases, setting off tsunamis, landslides, and other cascading disasters. So what happens when the Indian tectonic plate begins to break from below? And how will it shape the seismic future of South Asia? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Indian plate's deep cracking can only be understood by looking at its remarkable tectonic journey. Once part of the southern supercontinent Gondwana, India broke away around 120 million years ago and raced northward at a speed unmatched by any other continent. Its eventual collision with the Eurasian plate 50 to 60 million years ago created the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau a process that continues today as India pushes north at roughly 5 centimeters per year. This ongoing collision drives immense stress across the region. For decades, scientists assumed the Indian plate behaved as a single rigid block driving into the Eurasian plate. But modern research has overturned that idea. The plate is made up of ancient cratons, old rift zones, deep shear systems, and dense lithospheric roots, structures that respond differently to compression and create uneven patterns of deformation. This internal complexity means the plate does not bend or fracture in a uniform way. Beneath the Himalayas and Tibet, the interaction becomes even more unusual. As the Indian plate pushes beneath the Eurasian plate, it bends sharply downward, but in a far more complicated manner than typical ocean continent subduction. Some researchers have proposed that the deep, dense, lower lithosphere may behave differently from the upper layers, potentially leading to a process known as delamination, where the heavy lower portion can begin to peel away and sink into the mantle while the lighter upper portion remains attached above. This isn't the continent splitting at the surface. The plate is breaking from within, with its lower layer slowly pulling away from the upper one, and that hidden separation can change how stress builds underground. These geological conditions create a system that is inherently unstable, one where ancient faults can reactivate, buried weaknesses can awaken, and pressure can build silently for centuries. Long before scientists identified deep fractures beneath Tibet, earthquakes across India and its neighboring regions hinted that something unusual was happening beneath the surface. The 2001 Puj earthquake in Gujarat was one of the clearest warnings. This magnitude 7.7 .7 intraplate earthquake struck not along a plate boundary, but deep inside the Indian plate, within the ancient Kutch rift zone. Its destruction showed that even regions considered geologically stable can unleash powerful quakes when stress from distant plate collisions migrates inward. Just eight years earlier, the 1993 Lhotse earthquake delivered a similar shock. Occurring in the supposedly stable Peninsular Shield, the magnitude 6.3 earthquake killed thousands and proved that deep, buried faults can suddenly reactivate. The 1997 Jabalpur earthquake highlighted another weak zone within central India along the Narmada San liniment, another ancient rift that continues to respond to Himalayan-driven stress. The Himalayas, however, provided the clearest evidence of the region's seismic potential. The 1505 earthquake, 
likely exceeding magnitude 8.7, devastated Tibet and northern India. The 1897 Assam earthquake of magnitude 8.1 lifted the ground by several meters. The 1905 Kangra earthquake killed over 20,000 people. The 1934 Nepal Bihar earthquake and the 1950 Assam earthquake were equally catastrophic, with the 1950 events sometimes described as the most powerful continental earthquake ever recorded. The Indian Ocean added another critical piece to the puzzle. In 2012, two enormous intraplate earthquakes, magnitudes 8.6 and 8.2, struck the Wharton Basin, tearing through multiple faults and earning the label plate-breaking events. For the first time, there was direct evidence that large sections of the Indian plate were beginning to tear. Taken together, these quakes reveal a pattern. The Indian plate is more fractured, stressed, and internally active than once believed and the warnings have been building for decades. In recent years, new scientific research has revealed that the Indian plate is not only complex, but is actively deforming in ways never seen before. The most important breakthrough came from a study presented at the 2023 American Geophysical Union Conference, where scientists analyzed seismic data from 94 stations across southern Tibet to create the clearest image yet of the plate's interior. Their results were striking. The lower part of the Indian plate appears to be peeling away from the upper part, showing that delamination, a process once considered theoretical, is happening now. Seismic tomography confirmed a deep, uneven boundary where the dense lower lithosphere is detaching and sinking into the mantle. Above this zone lie fractured and weakened rocks extending tens to hundreds of kilometers upward, matching the profile of a plate that is beginning to split. Additional evidence supports this picture. Tibetan hot springs have been found to contain helium-3, a prehistoric gas that originates deep within Earth's mantle. Because helium-3 cannot reach the surface unless deep fractures cut through the lithosphere, its presence suggests that cracks now penetrate far below the crust, evidence of significant internal deformation. Seismic waves moving beneath Tibet and the Himalayas also show unusual patterns, bending and slowing in ways that signal structural failure at depth. Together, these findings point to vertical splitting inside the plate, with its upper and lower layers beginning to separate. Meanwhile, surface measurements add to the concern. GPS data shows uneven uplift, bending, and shifting strain across the Himalayas, while earthquake clusters, including swarms near the Delhi region, indicate changing stress fields. Long locked Himalayan segments are showing signs of renewed tension. Taken together, these discoveries reveal a dramatic transformation. The Indian plate is cracking from below and moving toward a more complex and potentially dangerous seismic face. The Himalayan boundary remains the most immediate threat. Along this arc, the Indian plate is locked against the Eurasian plate and several segments from Nepal and Uttarakhand to Himachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, and Bhutan are overdue for rupture. A failure on any of these sections could unleash a magnitude 8 or 9 earthquake, with catastrophic impacts for densely populated regions like Kathmandu and northern India. But the danger extends far beyond the mountains. When a tectonic plate begins breaking internally, stress can migrate into its interior triggering powerful intraplate earthquakes. Recent swarms near the Delhi region suggest that buried faults beneath the plains may also be responding to shifting stresses. Offshore, the Indian plate dives beneath Southeast Asia along the Andaman-Sumatra subduction zone, one of the world's most active megathrust systems. Here, another magnitude 8-plus earthquake remains a real possibility, with the potential to generate a large tsunami affecting India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and neighboring coasts. Together, these threats form an interconnected system, a plate under extreme pressure that can fail in multiple places. A rupture in one zone could influence stress across another, raising the possibility of cascading disasters. As scientists uncover fractures within the Indian plate, the need for seismic preparedness becomes urgent. India, Nepal, and Bangladesh 
all home to rapidly growing cities, remain highly exposed to a major Himalayan megathrust quake. Large areas of Delhi sit on soft soil that amplifies shaking. Nepal's infrastructure is fragile, and many Himalayan settlements lie on steep, landslide-prone terrain. Monitoring is improving but still limited. GPS networks track strain across the Himalayas, while the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System provides regional alerts, yet neither can fully protect cities built on vulnerable ground. A major weakness lies in construction quality. Although seismic codes exist, enforcement is inconsistent, and millions of structures in northern India and Nepal are not designed for strong shaking. Retrofitting remains slow and underfunded, leaving schools, hospitals, and residential buildings at significant risk. Meanwhile, scientists race to understand the implications of plate delamination through new seismic arrays and improved imaging. But earthquake timing remains impossible to predict. The challenge is clear. The region must prepare for a seismic threat that could strike anywhere at any time. The Indian plate is undergoing a major internal transformation. Its lower layers are peeling away into the mantle, deep fractures are redirecting stress, and mantle gases are rising through cracks that shouldn't exist. Past and present earthquakes now reveal a plate far more fragile and dynamic than once believed. This marks the start of a new tectonic chapter. Internal splitting could reshape the Himalayas, alter Tibet's uplift, and influence seismic behavior across the region. The implications are enormous. A major Himalayan earthquake is inevitable, intraplate quakes may become more frequent, and the Indian Ocean subduction zone will continue to threaten tsunamis. The Indian plate is changing beneath 1.4 billion people, and its consequences will be felt within our lifetime.